What's up, aviators? Today, I'm sharing a neat conversation I had regarding the Archer's V-Speeds. Stick around at the end of the video to check out 7 for Sierra and get some sweet pilot gear. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, that, at the top left there, your velocity speeds, your V-Speeds, uh, those are specific speeds recommended by the manufacturer for different situations. So the first one, VR, rotate speed. Uh, by the way, when we study these, I think it's a good idea to go and make some flashcards using uh, and in index cards to help you remember these speeds. So VR is rotate speed. When we're going down the runway, that's the speed that we pull back on the stick or on the yoke to start our, our you know, climb out of the, uh, off the runway. VX is the best angle of climb. That's different from the best rate of climb in that the best rate of climb is the most efficient airspeed uh, you're going to climb at for a given set of time. The best angle of climb is if you have an obstacle at the end of the runway and you need to climb over it. So it gives you a better climb gradient over a distance, not for time. So you're going to get to altitude faster if you climb at 76 knots, but you're going to get to your altitude in a shorter distance uh, if you use VX or 64 knots for your best angle of climb. But yeah, short field takeoffs or obstacles. Yeah, that's VX. But most of the time we climb at VY. Next one is a cruise climb. So after you get up to like, you know, 3000 feet and you want to continue climbing up to let's say 10,000 feet, you're not going to climb at the same rate. You're going to climb a little uh, at, at a faster airspeed. So that's going to help increase cooling and uh, reduce the load on the, uh, on the engine. So that's your cruise climb speed. So 87 knots for that. Your next one is your stall speed uh, in a landing configuration. So if you have, let's say a retractable landing gear flaps and variable pitch propeller, uh, if we have landing gear down full flaps, that's going to be our, our stall speed in a landing configuration. You know, if we look down to the VS or stall speed clean, it, that's if we, you know, have flaps up, landing gear up, or in a clean configuration. Uh, VG or V glide is your best glide speed. That's the speed we're going to pitch for if we have an engine failure. Uh, and typically that's your approach speed as well. Uh, you usually come in on final at your glide speed. Uh, so anytime when we, when we hop onto a simulator, uh, I'm going to throw emergency procedures at you all the time. Uh, you'll be flying, you know, flying your, your, uh, flight plan and I'll be, I'll say, Hey, bad news. <laughs> we lost an engine go. And so you'll reduce power pitch for your, your best glide speed, which is 76 knots trim it off and then take your hands off the controls and show me that you've got your hands off so you can fly. You can actually do everything else you need to do, fix the aircraft and let the airplane glide itself down. Uh, let's see, VS1, the target speed for slow flight. There's several reasons why we practice slow speed or slow flight. Uh, one of them is to get really good on understanding how to recover from stalls. The other is to practice landing. When we come in to land, we're going to transition from our, our best glide speed to slow flight just above the runway. And we're going to use ground effect. And we're just going to uh, basically stay in slow flight above the runway until the airplane settles down. And so we're going to practice that at a higher altitude. So that's your target speed for slow flight. So 55 to 60 knots. Next is VNO, that's your maximum structural cruise speed. Uh, you basically don't want to be operating any, any faster than that. Uh, VNE is your never exceed speed. That's you're absolutely going to break the aircraft. So basically 125 knots, I wouldn't really go past that uh, under regular conditions. VFE, that's your flap extended speed. You don't want to pull your flaps down any faster uh, if you're faster than that. So if you want to start lowering flaps, Reduce your airspeed to 102 knots at most, and then drop your flaps. And then VA is your maneuver speed. Remember, this one is not shown on the airspeed indicator. You have to remember it. And every aircraft is different. So your maneuvering speed here is 113 knots if you're at this power setting. Uh, if you're at, at you know, 1,634, then you fly at 89 knots. The rest of this is good to go over too. Uh, if, you're, if you're up for it, we can talk about it now or we can you know, talk about it later. Hey guys, thanks for watching today. If you have a second, check out my favorite flight instructors Etsy page, 7 for Sierra. They're not a paid sponsor. I don't get a dime from them. I just think they have some pretty awesome aviator gear. And if you'd like to support a veteran owned business, this is a great place to do it. Link is in the description. Don't forget to pick up my books on Amazon if you want to get a jump start on earning your wings. And if you want more free pilot videos, hit that subscribe button to fly my wing. Thanks for watching. See ya.